Mom's car right now, waiting for my dad to go grab something, and then we're gonna be off to the actual park. I don't know what's the, I need a hat, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it until we get there. So yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this hat for the whole entire ride. So yeah, I brought my charger with me. So yeah. Anyways, let's get to the vlog. So. This park I have never been to before, and there's gonna be probably gonna be elk there. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys to see what's in the park. So yeah, see you guys in the next clip. The mission for the, yeah, the this park for adults is only like seven ninety ninety, and for use aka me, it's free for some for some reason. I guess you just don't pay us. I guess that. Not many people need to pay to get in, so yeah. So we need to actually find the location of this. We'll have to actually find the actual location of this park first, then find the entrance. So yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things to do at this park, so yeah. we'll find some things to do. We have another 18 minutes before we get to Elk Island. We still need to find the entrance, I have no idea where I'm going. See, once we get to Elk Island National Park. So up ahead is a giant basin, like literally. You keep on trying, there's like literally a giant basin right there. Here you go. Here's a better angle. Here's a giant basin right here. Here's um, here's something from uh, Stone Lake. A bunch of things you can find in this here. It's basically an, like another map. A random billboard with like grand billboards. Then. There's an, another billboard here, so yeah, that's basically what's in this shaft. So here's a um, board that's this curbside pickup, and more stuff right here. More stuff right here. Let's see if there's anything cheap on this side that I actually like. Okay, there's a Aloha butter. 
there is a key buffalo so body butter but who wants my body butter in the middle of nowhere um i don't know what that is but i don't know if this is all what they have in the shops but yeah um there's a magnet and a soapstone carving kit I really don't know how to use those. Um, some clay stuff. It's a lot. I think and most of these things are like really expensive. Another sign from the Lake Boot Trail. And that's the same from the like past two ones I saw. So yeah, this is lovely. So yeah, you have to bring everything. It's wildlife here, so don't disturb wildlife. It really smells like barbecue out here. Like right now, but it doesn't mind. I like the smell of barbecue. So here's the lake. <laughs> and the person who wants to kiss me all the time when I'm filming. <laughs> Beautiful. And then there's the whole entire lake. I'm not sure the whole entire lake because some of the quarry on the lake. There's a pretty lake. And up here is just a trail. Okay, here's a random like stove thing stove thing. Honestly, I've never seen one of these things before. I believe, I think this is a olden time stove. There's like literally nobody here. Like nobody here. Human food's wild, not wildlife. Um, here's a sign. Here's a sign that says, you have to be responsible for your old baby here. So yeah, all things normal the pandemic, obviously. That's why they put signs here. That's like literally bolted here. I'm standing on a bridge thingy. Here's another bridge thingy. And here's a, here's the last bridge. There's only three bridge thingies here. So yeah, the lake is a lovely place to take some pictures. And it's here because probably over there is going to be a bunch of wildlife. So yeah, the trail ends here. So back we go again, up, up those and down those hills again. Fun, not. Um, continue walking back that way and like find a different, different walkway that does not lead to a dead end. So yeah, the only wildlife we saw so far was a bison. You didn't get to see its face, but it was on its side. So yeah, his lovely nature and this trail is like super, super long and it leads to a dead end. If you walk back that way, it's going to be more paths. So here's that whole entire bridge. Here's the whole entire bridge with nobody on it. And we're back here. So yeah, first time. This is a very long bridge. It's a very long bridge thingy. So, yeah. Long bridge thingy. And there's two more bridges here is the second bridge thingy okay. second bridge thingy and here's the full bridge this way way so yeah I need to get back up so I don't get tangled in those plants super windy get there and have a straight on my hat or else it's just gonna fly away on me oh right now raining right now so we're in the car and who oh, it's like literally raining outside so i have to wash my phone and my i have to like clean my phone i'll do it later so yeah and it's like getting rain on it so yeah see you once it's not raining so i had a beautiful lunch so i'm gonna wash my hands you know first wash my hands and clean my phone Almost. Maybe I'm going to wipe down my phone. 
It's mostly chilling in the three and a half to four and a half hour walk, and the distance is 12.6 kilometers. I really don't want to walk three hours or four hours at all, not at all. So, yeah, here's the Moss Lake Chill thing. Moss Lake Chill is too long to even walk the whole thing. So, yeah, let's move on to a different place in this park. So far, the only animal we see in this park was a bison. This is this. This is an elk park, so there should be elk somewhere. So if you don't want to be wondering what an elk looks like, here's a picture of it on the map. An elk looks like this, and so far we only have seen bisons. So, yeah. Just sitting here right now and in the next 30 minutes we're leaving this park to go buy some food for our house for the week so yeah I'm wearing sunglasses kind of because of the sun outside it's a kind of good thing we took the walk earlier on today so yeah and the gift shop thingy and you have to call them so yeah I'll try again next year when COVID has a vaccine so yeah it's kind of it's kind of freezing so yeah it's right now the labor day long weekend so yeah this is the perfect way to spend a weekend I'm gonna read this 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 so yeah my mom just got this thing for her work so I might as well read this before she gives it to her kid Oh yeah, Heiko's story. Heiko was born in Wood, Buffalo National Park, the largest national park in Canada. It is also one of the longest woods in the world. And her friend Rachel used to visit. What shall we do today? Heiko had a lot of things right here. so much fun even though there is no elk even even despite the name there's supposed to be elk but I guess they come out like early in the morning so yeah see you guys in another video bye